Hey guys, my name is Jose Quinones, and I am currently the assistant buyer at Neiman Marcus for men's accessories, shoes, furnishings, and jewelry for online. Um, I was the head style guru for DePaul University back home in Chicago, Illinois. Um, I hope everyone likes my Oliver People glasses. Thank you, Chesa. Uh, well, uh, how did I first hear about College Fashionista? Um, I first heard about College Fashionista thank you to my really, really, really good friend, Melissa Steen. She was a style guru at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Um, thanks to her, I got in contact with Amy. I emailed Amy, and we set up a phone interview. I actually emailed with Amy. Um, not emailed. I spoke with Amy uh, on the streets uh, back at DePaul uh, in Lincoln Park. Um, and fortunately, I got an email shortly thereafter stating that I would be the next style guru for DePaul. Um, and that was beyond words because that was my first internship. Um, and I was beyond happy. Um, and it really was such a blessing in disguise. Um, I never thought I would get it, but going on, um, what was my favorite college fishing memory? I guess it was really experiencing the whole street style jazz and like frenzy that everyone was going through. Um, I had a little Nokia camera that I would use at first. Um, and I would go around asking people awkwardly and shyly, uh, it's not my forte, but I would go and ask them and be like, hey, let me take my picture of you and like get, sort of attempt to get to know them. And I guess that's my greatest memory, being able to like um, know these strangers and get where their like fascination towards fashion would come from and sort of get to know where like their influences would be and like why they would dress the way they would dress and like what pertain to their own style and that's something that I really uh hold near and dear to my heart because I feel like people dress the way they dress because of something that they hold near and dear to their heart um something that influences them on their everyday lives and that's something I wholeheartedly believe in like I don't think that like designers or celebrities influence the, the way people dress I think that we and our emotions influence the way that we dress because I know certainly that's the way I dress um and how has college fashion used to help me? Um, I think perseverance. Uh, wholeheartedly, perseverance has been the one and true only trial that I have tried to sort of garnish and relish and sort of grow um, within my own self that I know I got from the site because I would write these stories and photograph these people and I would think that oh my god they look like so similar to the last person that I would photograph and it's the trend that I tried to photograph last week and I don't know how I'm gonna twist it or like do this different angle with them but I would find a way to gather something that would be completely off the photograph I would do from the prior person and create this whole different story for them and I feel like this perseverance that I got from that is what I use in my everyday work life because I may fail once, I may fail twice, I may fail three, four, five times in my everyday work-to-work -work schedule, but I know that at the end, if I do fail five times, I know that the five first different times I tried are my learning experience, and I will continue to persevere and get it the correct way eventually, and that is what College Fashions has taught me, that even though I may fail the first time, I have to keep going and going and going and edit and edit and edit and sort of get the perfect ending piece to what will become eventually something that's great and people will enjoy and people will sort of be able to get influenced by, which is what we're here for. Us in fashion, we will try to influence people, even though some of them not so much, but we that's what we're here for. And that, honestly, without College Fashionista, I don't think I would be where I am right now.